Turning now to the moments, Ocala police opened fire on a man who they say was running away from a hospital. Body camera video shows the shooting along Southwest 27th Avenue, not far from the Vines Hospital yesterday. It happened shortly after the patient arrived there for mental health treatment. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is following the latest developments. News 6 is not identifying the hospital patient right now because police have indicated he was having a mental health episode when this all went down. That man survived the shooting but has been undergoing surgeries all day. According to police, his family had just checked him into this mental health facility when he ran away. When officers caught up with the man a few blocks from here, they say they were forced to shoot him. What's going on, man? Your mom's calling us all worried. This video from an Ocala police officer's body worn camera shows a man holding a knife and a can of bear pepper spray shortly after he ran away from a mental health treatment facility. You're not in any trouble, buddy. Relax, relax, relax. In the video, which has been edited by Ocala police, the man can be heard making suicidal statements to three police officers. My life died today. No, you're not, buddy. According to investigators, one officer was holding a taser. The second was holding a weapon that shoots foam rubber bullets. The third was holding a gun. In a moment, you will see the hospital patient run towards the officer holding the gun. Investigators say officers deployed the taser and foam rubber bullets first before the gun was fired, but neither of those methods were effective. It happens very fast. Drop the knife, buddy. Get down, get down on the ground. Take a look at the video again in slow motion. Ocala's deputy police chief says all of the officers appear to have followed proper protocol. In looking at the video and listening to the audio and looking at our policies, everything looks spot on. The officer did absolutely what they were supposed to do and how they're trained to react to these situations. Ocala police are asking prosecutors to charge the hospital patient with aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer. That patient remains under 24 hour guard at a different hospital as he undergoes more surgeries. Reporting in Ocala, Mike DeForest, News 6.